It's basically uh, a, a kind of s just an intuition that uh, maybe uh, 15 years ago or 12 years ago, uh, I kind of realized that uh, it's really strange in a certain way that uh, in architecture and, and in, in a way in intellectual discourse, the vast majority of preoccupation and attention is going to urban uh, conditions, yes. to discussing urban issues, uh, to discuss urban futures. And uh, basically, with that intuition, I stopped, began to look at the countryside, and there were various kind of realizations. Um, and maybe the most important realization was that, you know, if you look at the global sense, the kind of cities are only a kind of tiny, tiny fragment, and that the countryside is in fact the world. So uh, I began to realize that it's kind of really bizarre that the uh, intellectuals are considering a tiny fraction of the world, and that basically this other part remains uh, underexplored, misunderstood. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and doesn't kind of receive the attention it deserves. I mean, that was the initial beginning. I think that if you look now, um, and, and maybe we should kind of only look in the last uh, kind of four months, you see incredibly intense kind of effects of nature in the countryside, and kind of in, in Germany, in kind of Holland, in kind of Russia, in the Arab world, in China, incredible inundations, incredible storms, incredible and 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 in, in almost all cases there is a kind of strange sense of kind of surprise. Mm, but why? And and I think that those two phenomena are, are kind of really related. Uh, and and uh, so that basically this initial intuition uh, acquired more and more urgency. Uh, and one of the kind of real urgencies is of course now that the countryside is the the environment or the uh, section of the world where you know whether we have a future or not will be uh, will be kind of both visible and will be the crucial component of it. And so it's a kind of initial intuition that required more and more urgency, and and that also therefore is not only a particular kind of way of thinking, but but. It's, it's now many, many layers that need to be considered. We think uh, in a global level there, there are the most quick critical, uh, uh, critical uh, issues and the critical subjects. And, and uh, uh, maybe kind of rural planning is, is already a kind of uh, simplification. It's not necessarily uh, um, about rural planning, but it, it's about having uh, thinking about what the countryside could be, yeah. and and thinking what the countryside needs to be, and thinking about you know what needs to happen in the countryside to basically uh, kind of save the world. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. In part, it's also a response to um, to our experiences uh, in China particularly, but also, I mean, with a broader implication that stretches obviously beyond China, but where you see that there is still indeed this type of urban practices of renewal, uh, of, uh, um, of cookie cutter uh, interventions from a top-down position uh, are still very prevalent, where they don't perhaps need to be, where there's new ways of technology, new cultural shapes, new directions that also are enticing people to go to the countryside, to be there, to visit, uh, mm -hmm. that are um, from the bottom up more interesting and more relevant and where you try to see how could you create either hybrids or make sure that they sort of align more with uh, also what local residents need and want so that you don't have this constant battle between either a top down good intentions program with a bottom up uh, development that doesn't connect. So that's also a bit of the uh, challenge that we face uh, in, in many rural uh, contexts. For for some kind of uh, private reason, I've been uh, kind of traveling a lot uh, in Europe by car, kind of recently, and um, I have to say it's uh, both uh, depressing and exciting. Because what is depressing is that you still see kind of new uh, shopping centers being made, 
uh, in the Commissariat that you still see uh, enormous extensions of uh, kind of airports uh, that you wonder are they kind of really necessary uh, that you still see you know uh, uh, enormously kind of homogeneous uh, kind of forms of agriculture that we now know are kind of really having an extremely negative effect on the world but also we begin to see kind of really very serious kind of efforts to uh, create either solar energy or kind of wind energy or in certain cases combined we see the beginning of a kind of different um, different uh, thinking about agriculture with more diversity and kind of smaller uh, kind of fields uh, and and therefore we are in an interesting uh, kind of moment I think where you see you know on the one hand one form of modernization still still going on and but on the other hand also visible efforts to uh, to to control it so it's a kind of beautiful in a way moment where you know you have a feeling okay it could go this way or that way. I mean in terms of newness it's more to uh, to indeed say that you know uh, a lot has been achieved in the countryside as well uh, but there's also a need for uh, sort of re really redrafting some of the points that Ram also signaled about uh, monocultures, about um, you know extraction, about climate change. So that that just brings an urgency to have this type of new uh, direction. And newness could really also benefit, um, let's say, the the idea that the countryside is a backward place. I think uh, that which is I think a fallacy that has been mm -hmm. put up largely by urban context just to mm -hmm. differentiate and that's something that we cannot afford anymore and therefore I think this type of to add a, a consciousness of newness to mm -hmm. uh, this area is uh, uh, can really help set the balance straight or at least give also space for new uh, feelings and new needs and there was a very uh, a very interesting um, uh, article today in the paper uh, about Turkey uh, and kind of basically it described how in Turkey the kind of cities like Istanbul are still kind of expanding but that there's a kind of whole generation and I guess that is uh, basically your generation that is kind of take, going away from the city that is buying kind of small plots of land and that is kind of building on those lands kind of uh, simple kind of houses that are made out of kind of wood and straw. There is uh, a kind of movement uh, toward the countryside yeah? and not out of sentimental reasons, not because the countryside is so beautiful, but simply because there is another kind of life uh, possible and that, that uh, there is now an incentive for people to want to live in this kind of other life. Well, I think that we, we've, uh, well, right now there is no relationship and, and so, and, and I think there, there needs to be a relationship and you see all kinds of elements where that kind of relationship is being uh, established and I think uh, the, there is an issue that uh, we, we live in a digital world, uh, the digital is um, supposedly virtual and invisible and uh, can work uh, through underground cables uh, but in order to um, run the digital world there's need for incredibly kind of big factories uh, kind of data uh, centers data farms data whatever and basically those entities are uh, too big to be in cities uh, kind of more and more so they are inevitably built in the countryside and kind of right now that that is almost like a kind of wild west yeah? uh, there's no thinking about it no planning just dump it in a kind of in, in a very often very beautiful site and i think that is uh, probably the, the the key thing where we really have to uh, think of a new uh, integration perhaps uh, between city and countryside I mean, the, the entire infrastructure of the kind of modern age. Yeah. Well, I think in 10 years, uh, what, what I described, you know, if you're on the road, you know, there are kind of certain countries where you see uh, 
mistake, 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 mm, maybe mistake, 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 uh, mistake, mistake, mistake. Uh, and other countries will say, hmm, interesting, mm, mistake, mm, interesting, interesting, interesting. So I have a feeling that there will be kind of more interesting and, and more encouraging uh, kind of signs of uh, uh, new ways of inhabiting the countryside. Don't focus on aesthetics, uh, but focus on ideas. And, and articulate your ideas uh, as ideas. And are able to make something that uh, communicates not only in the inside of uh, the profession, but, but in a larger, uh, on a larger field.